Hi, my name is Lee Cassells. I'm the co-owner of Sook Health and Fitness. Uh, my background in fitness, I've been in the fitness industry for over 25 years now. Started off in Scotland, moved across to Saudi Arabia, across the US, and finally landed in Vancouver Island and been here ever since. The biggest thing for us is fitness in the community for the community, meaning that we're really here for the community at large at Sook. We're not wanting to be seen as a corporate entity as such. We really want everyone to feel at home, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a wannabe athlete, whether you're just coming off the couch for the first time and want to start moving. That's really, I think, what sets us apart. We're a 24-hour facility, so we're kind of here for when you want to be active, whenever you want to be active. Uh, memberships can be bought online, it can be bought through the front desk, and they're all within a reasonable price point. Again, we want to make it accessible to everyone in the community. We wanted something with a compact footprint. We had older equipment that took up a larger footprint. Uh, and we also wanted something that was really reliable. I've used the Matrix brand at numerous other facilities I've worked in and managed in the past. And they've also had a really good reputation for outlasting the warranty period compared to other brands I've used. They definitely look sleek when you walk into the facility. They definitely pop and stand out compared to other brands. And the usability, again, because we cater to a wide range of people, we like the fact that it's easy to use, easy to understand straight away. You can jump on and off them and you don't need to have a master's degree in electronics to be able to get the thing to work. It's one button, you start it and you're good to go. Definitely reach out to people like Jeff, Fitness Experience, other people in the industry that know more than you do. He's not a sales guy. He doesn't come in and try and over-promise and under-deliver all the time. He comes in, he delivers what he said he's going to deliver. But he also gives you a lot of free advice along the way as well of like, hey, we could do this, however, there might be another option over here. Have you looked at this one? Have you looked at this brand? So even though he works for Matrix, he's very open to the idea of there's other brands on the market, but he's also going to show you the other options there as well. So for me, it feels like I've got a trusted advisor, not a salesperson. How did your relationship with Jeff and his experience start? I actually started just through us becoming networking friends uh, through LinkedIn, and then we met for coffee, and then we met for lunch, and then we met for dinner over time. Uh, we're both heavily involved in the fitness industry. I sit on a panel for Fitness Industry Council Canada, who oversees all fitness clubs across the whole of Canada. And Jeff was asking me advice, I was asking him advice about equipment, how we're going to deal with this COVID pandemic. So that's really where it came about of basically mutually asking each other for advice back and forward and built a friendship and a, a partnership through that. Like one, I can definitely contact them when I'm having even just general club issues of Hey Jeff, I'm having this issue in my club. Is this a, an issue that other clubs are seeing across the island? And they can give me feedback straight away. And then also just from an equipment standpoint of, hey, what's new, what's funky, what's coming out? I want to re-renovate downstairs at some point. So he's going to come out and give me a floor plan of, based on your clientele base, this is kind of what we can do in the future for you as well. I told him the list of problems, the list of headaches I had, what issues I had with the last equipment, what I wanted the look and the feel of the club to be and also with the age demographic. And then he supplied option A, B or C based on the price point I was looking at, I'll pick the option B. Uh, so that was kind of how we, we came about with that.